made it safely to the Kathmandu International Airport. My taxi driver was a complete utter nutter. He had the music turned up, like American hip hop, Eminem, turned up full ball, treble right to the roof, you couldn't hear a single thing, it was horrific. Um, and he was driving on the wrong side of the road, speeding. And I, gave him, I only gave him 400 and he goes, oh sorry, I told him I was only giving him 400, I gave him a 500 note and he goes, okay thank you, well, give me 100 back. Goes, no, no, this is good, and I'm like, what it meant. Made it to Bangkok. Just gonna try and find transfer counter. Try and find my gate. I've got to check in again. My bag's gonna hold it through, which is really cool. But um, yeah, just gotta find my way through this airport. Shouldn't be too hard. I had this lovely Nepalese young boy. I'm not quite sure how old he was, but he was, you know, probably 15 or 16 next to me. Um, completely got back to that big on a plane, I think it was his first time. Um, but oh my god, you should have seen him freak out when he took off and landed. I'm sure we had to pull his fingernails out of the seat. But I showed him a few things on the buttons, you know, like what to look for and movies and bits and pieces like that. Yeah, he loved it. I was showing all these mates. Poor bloke couldn't hear, couldn't understand English, and when they were saying, tell him to sit down, he was like, no. We're about a minute away from landing the poor bloke standing up walking around. Alright, so I found my gate, it's D3, apparently right at the very end. Um, and it's only like 6.30, so I've got about five and a half hours of just chilling out. Hanging out in Starbucks for about two, three hours now. So I'll go for wonder. I don't know how much more of this hanging out at a airport I can do. There's so many times you can you know, go through YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and you only get an hour with Wi Fi, so you can't load anything up to YouTube. But anyway, I'm just gonna wander around and have a look at a couple of shops. Massive, massive airport, so I'm sure I could waste a couple of hours. It's um, just gone 10 o'clock, so midnight I'll fly out. Two more hours. Check this guy out. The little boy made out of completely out of boots. Capital ready at the station. Well, I've made it. I'm home. I'm back in Australia. I'm home. And I'm buggered. That is 25 hours or something of travel. But it's been good here. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna have a shower, a proper shower, wash my hair, and then I'm gonna go and see Christy. So, until then, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. One life, one search. Peace out.